welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. I've got another lab for you. We are gonna create a heating curve for water. Make sure you have some paper because you're gonna to need to make a data table. You're also going to need to make a graph, so make sure you have a piece of graph paper. So go get all your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so to make this curve, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a beaker of ice. I'm gonna take the temperature of the ice and I'm gonna record that at zero minutes. Then I'm gonna put the beaker on the hot plate and I'm gonna turn on the hot plate to high. Then I'm gonna start my timer. You need to record the temperature every minute until the water has been boiling for five minutes. Then you're gonna take that data and you're gonna graph it. Now this is a line graph. So each data point, make a dot on your graph and then you're gonna connect the lines, making a line graph. Not a best fit, connect all the dots. Then when you get your graph made, you're going to see that there's sections and you're going to label those sections, solid being heated, solid turning to a liquid, liquid only being heated, liquid turning into a gas. And I'm going to be honest, I did not leave my beaker long enough for all of the water to be boiled out. So there is not a stage where it's just gas in the beaker. Okay, guys, this is a little bit of a wait. We are literally going to watch water boil. Have fun.
Did you make it all the way to the end? If you did, you are my favorite. I told y'all, we were literally watching water boil. Okay, well, I hope you got all of the information and we are going to learn much, much more about these heating graphs. And until next time, bye y'all.